Welcome to Trends News Today. Most of the time, an imaginary friend is just that imaginary. Children all over the world have them, they play outside with them, leave a space for them at the dinner table, have squabbles with them over sweets, and so on. But sometimes, the idea of an imaginary friend masks something entirely different. This twisted concept of an imaginary friend has served as an inspiration for horror novels and movies, terrifying people worldwide, and then imaginary friends have played roles in the strangest and most unexplained situations. The following are just a few examples of this. 5. The murder of Recky Cole. Recky Cole hurt and allegedly murdered a lot of people right up until he himself was brutally beaten to death with a pipe by a young man named Jason Cote pictured above in 2013. In court, one of Cote's lawyers stated that Ricky Cole had an imaginary friend, who lived in a black box, and went by the name of Vern. It was apparently this Vern, who told Cole, to maim and murder others. Jason Cote had overheard conversations between Cole and Vern, and was terrified for his own life, leading him to kill Cole. Defense lawyers were building up their case on the premise of self-defense, to get Jason Cote, off the hook, pointing out, that drugs found in Ricky Cole's system could have made him psychotic, and could also have led to the invention of Vern. However, the prosecution believed that Jason Coates simply murdered Cole, in cold blood, after the latter would not supply the former with the drugs he wanted Jason Coates was sentenced to 45 years in prison in 2016. 4. Carl Anthony Towns alter ego at 21 years old basketball player Carl Anthony Towns became the third youngest player in 30 years to have a minimum of 45 points and 15 rebounds in a game. In 2015, Sporting News wrote an article about Towns because fans were mystified over who the young man was talking to while playing. According to the article Towns admitted to having an imaginary friend that, over time had turned into his alter ego, who he named Carlito. He also stated that Carlito is the little voice that sits on his shoulder during games. Town's teammate, Tyler Eulis, added his voice to the article, as well, explaining that when Town seems to be looking down and talking to the ground, he is actually talking to Carlito. It seems that Carlito is instrumental in helping Towns to keep from talking back to his coach when he is criticized by him during games. The coach is apparently also not much bothered by the presence of Carlito as long as it influences Towns' game in a positive way. 3. Laughing Jack According to urban legend, Laughing Jack is a creepy clown that appears to children as an imaginary friend but then turns on them by cutting them open from top to bottom, and ripping out their organs. He then fills up their empty bodies with candy. In 2015, a 12-year-old girl from Indiana set her home on fire, and then proceeded to stab her stepmother to death. When questioned by authorities, the girl stated that she had been given an instruction by Laughing Jack to kill her stepmother. The girl was taken to a medical center where it was established that she suffered from PTSD as well as dissociative identity disorder. No private institution would keep her, and she had to be moved to a state mental institution. She was found unfit to stand trial, because of her mental disorder, too. Meme turned myth turned imaginary friend in a case very similar to the Laughing Jack one. Two girls from Wisconsin lured their friend into the woods in May 2014, after having a slumber party. The two 12-year-olds then proceeded to stab her 19 times, very nearly severing an artery close to her heart. Amazingly, the girls survived. When they were arrested, they told police that Slender Man had instructed them to kill their friend. Otherwise, he would kill their families. Slender Man a tall, slender creature that wears a black suit and has no facial features, originated as a meme and then morphed into a creepypasta and somehow emerged as a type of imaginary friend slash foe to the two girls, who did not hesitate to stab their friend to appease this ghoulish apparition. The girls also believed that slender men would welcome them into his mansion after the murder and that he watched over them could materialize instantly and could read their minds. 1. 
Casey Anthony's made-up life. In a decision that shocked the world, Casey Anthony was found not guilty in 2011 of murdering her beautiful two-year-old daughter Kaylee, despite many pieces of evidence pointing to her guilt. Instead, she was only convicted of four misdemeanor charges, including providing false information to police. False information was an understatement, however. Casey Anthony had a whole host of imaginary friends and created a fictitious world for these characters and even fictitious events. Anthony claimed first of all to have had a job at Universal Studios and even led police there before admitting that she lied. She also told police that she had a babysitter who used to go out with her ex-boyfriend. The nanny's name was Zanita, Zanny for short. She claimed that Zanny kidnapped Kaylee because she believed Anthony to be a bad mother. Anthony also claimed that a man by the name of Jeff Hopkins was her boyfriend and that he worked for Nickelodeon. She invented a mother for Hopkins and claimed that the woman suffered from cancer. Anthony even lied about her daughter's father, saying that his name was Eric Baker but no one in her family had ever laid eyes on this person. A while later, Anthony told her mother that Baker had been killed in an accident. In spite of all the lies and the obvious flaws in her stories concerning her daughter's disappearance and murder, Casey Anthony remains a free woman. What do you think? If you like this news, please share this with your friends. Don't forget to comment below the box and subscribe our channel.